Thank you very Minister much, Minister. Uh, Minister, you're very welcome into the Chamber today. The Circular Economy Bill is in keeping with the Green Party's approach to policy, ineffective and targeting all ordinary people who are already struggling with existing charges. In theory, this bill aims to support Ireland's transition to a circular economy. But the methodology of the studies it's based on is very flawed. In practice, the coffee cup levy is just another imposition on small businesses and people who are already struggling to cope. Not only that, but it also will be very ineffective. The bill is wide in scope and it has many unintended consequences. It is based on a flawed methodology, life cycle thinking, which aims to assess the impacts of the generation and the management of waste, but it fails to consider certain environmental, economic and risk management factors. Reusables produce 2.8 times more carbon dioxide and they consume 3.4 times more fresh water than single use based products. But studies show that a reusable coffee cup, if washed four times a day, is discarded after just nine to 12 days. I myself don't know how many uh, reusable coffee cups I've had over my period, but I certainly don't know where any of them are today. It too has a very short life cycle. It is also likely that many environmentalists Conscious people will be unable to use reusable cups. In the UK, only 6% of the traders will use reusable due to the fact that they are legally liable. In Ireland, the Food Safety Authority, Ireland, has previously stated that coffee cups are legally liable for any illness, injury, or safety issues that arise. It is likely that many outlets will not accept them due to the legal risk as our country gets increasingly more and more litigious. In many cases, people will not be able to avoid the levies and choose what is per perceived to be the more environmental option. Whether it's carbon taxes or an attempt to ban the use of turf, the Green Party seems determined to make everyday necessities more difficult for ordinary people to use. The provisions of the GDPR compliant use of CCTV is also concerning. I have been an advocate for CCTV in Dalik and Dunor and other areas in County Meath. CCTV plays a very important role in helping our communities keep safe and ensuring that people don't dump large amounts of waste. However, fines being issued to any person that may not dispose of coffee cups in the right way is too harsh. A fine for littering may not cost very much for the people in this chamber, but too many people who are simply living paycheck to paycheck, it will affect. It has the potential to cause major upheaval, particularly at a time when so many of our citizens are struggling to pay. As a senator and a former county councillor, and as a volunteer, I volunteer every single Saturday in my town with regard to tiny towns. I'm regularly seen picking up rubbish sometimes in my high heels. I see very few coffee cups. The focus on coffee cups is misguided. I see more plastic bottles on the ground than any other item. Put a tax on those. Takeaway boxes are also one of the main causes of litter. They also pose a threat and a hazard to local residents because they attract wildlife. By all means, put a tax on takeaway boxes. Based on my own experience of looking after the community, these two waste objects should really be our main focus. Granted, there are some sensible amendments. An amendment was proposed to introduce a fixed penalty notice in relation to breaches of the waste facility permit. An amendment was also uh, proposed to provide for the establishment of GDPR compliant register of households without a waste collection service. I'm not opposed to any of these propo uh, proposals. I do recognise the need for proper waste management. However, I would urge the government to explore other measures and don't squeeze ordinary people further at a time when significant percentages of our population is already struggling with energy poverty. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry, Minister, I won't be here to listen to your reply, but I will listen to you uh, attentively on the recording.